Nate Oates, Buffalo Bulls head coach, joining us here uh, in advance of his round of 32 t- uh, game against Kentucky uh, after a big, huge, shocking win for most of us uh, against Arizona last night here on the Rich Eisen Show. Let's talk about your path here. Uh, Wisconsin guy uh, ends up uh, coaching high school in Romulus, Michigan, home of Terry Mills, by the way, who was part of the uh, Michigan championship team uh, from back in the day. And then I guess Bobby Hurley uh, was recruiting somebody and, and met you. Is that how you got to Buffalo? Yeah, yeah, you, that's pretty good, man. You got a lot of you're, you're a pretty good guy with all that. Oh, yeah. yeah, I grew up in Wisconsin, played Division three basketball. I got a good friend of mine, one of my close friends, Ed Horn, was teaching at Romulus, convinced me to move out there to take the head job. I was a Division three assistant. I was at the University of Wisconsin Whitewater when I left to take the Romulus job right outside Detroit. So we built the program up, and then my, my last year at Romulus. We won the state championship in 2013, but my two best players were Wes Clark, who's playing with me right now. He ended up going to Missouri, and then I got him on a transfer after he left Missouri. He's our point guard here. But then the other one was E.C. Matthews, who was like a top 100 kid that chose Rhode Island. When Danny Hurley got the job before Danny had ever even coached a game at Rhode Island, and they were awful, like E.C. chose to go there to play for them. So I built a really good relationship with Danny and Bobby. Bobby gets the head job after their first year at Rhode Island and Danny and Bobby talked and Danny recommended and Bobby called me and kind of history, you know, it worked out great. And I, I mean, I give Bobby a lot of credit for taking a high school coach and then making him his top assistant, his first, first head coach. But I think, you know, the fact that their dad was such a good coach and stayed in the high school uh, ranks Mm. helped me out a little bit. They had a little bit more respect for high school coaches than what, some typical division one guys would. And then shoot, it's kind of history from there. Yeah. Isn't it amazing how this works, right? Nate, uh, uh, a guy from Wisconsin makes his high school bones in the state of Michigan gets hired in Western New York and has the biggest win for that area in Idaho. It's amazing how that yeah, works. It was, <laughs> right. It is, it is a little different. Can't make it, it up. Is my, this is my first time in uh, Boise. I love it out here, Boise. I, I told somebody we might have to get a vacation home out here the way they've been treating us. I bet. I bet. You must You must never want to leave. Uh, I no, mean, let's stay here. They got about six inches of snow in Buffalo. It was 70 here in Boise the other day. Like, let's just let's hang out in Boise. My wife's from Colorado, so it looks a lot like Colorado. She's in heaven out here with the mountains and stuff. Like, yeah. Let's just hang out in Boise for another week. Well, and look, you know, obviously uh, most of us uh, are familiar with the uh, rabid fan base of Western New York because of the Buffalo Bills and um, and obviously the Sabres. And I'm wondering how you know that this win went back, how, how it went uh, over back home, Coach. Yeah, it was great. I, I don't know if you remember that we had a kid hit the half-court shot. He was all over Scott Van Pelt's show and all oh, that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, so that, that kid, that same kid, Kyle, he busted the uh, table, you know, the Bills Mafia and the whole tailgating deal. Yeah. So he went, he went through the table. So he's he's another internet sensation. So the, the, the fair base has been great, though. They Buffalo's kind of embraced this. They used to have the NBA team, the Braves. Now there's no NBA team, so we're Buffalo's basketball team now. And they've shoot if we can get we're we're trying to create Bulls Mafia, just like they got Bills Mafia going. It's well on, it's well on its way too. Hey, you beat Kentucky. Um, you can write your ticket there, Nate. I'll tell you that. I mean, no, it'll be great. Sean McDermott's been. I mean, he called and left me a voicemail the other day. He put out a uh, little video from the Bills uh, Twitter site. They're all in. Like he's, it, it's, it's been great. It's a, it's a good time to be in Buffalo, winning some games. Yeah, and uh, one of your assistants, uh, Jim Weitzel, his brother Patrick is a uh, partner at William Morris. You could sell your life rights right now, Nate. You know, I mean, you could go Hollywood if you want. You know, maybe yeah, I need to get I need to get Jim on there, right? Yeah, I mean, you, he he's got the connections. They, actually, they, think they were out for the game last night. They took I think there's ten of them came on a plane from uh, L.A. and came in for the game. They, See the great dudes, like they're really really good people. The Hollywood Buffalo connection meeting up in Idaho. You can't make this stuff up, Nate. You can't. That's been, yeah, we just gotta gotta get a potato or something. We gotta come up with some kind of potato <laughs> something out here, right? <laughs> no, no, no. That's carbs. People in Hollywood don't want that, Nate. No, 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 no yeah, carbs. Yeah, we don't look so good, yeah, right? Yeah, something kale. Make something kale. The Rich Eisen Show weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.